Hey everybody, this is BuilderDude35, and this week I'll be teaching you how to create, import, and export my blocks in the EV3 programming software. Alright, so today I'm covering my blocks, and I have the EV3 programming environment open right here as you see, and I have this piece of code right here, and instead of having to write this out every time I want to reference it in the program, instead what we can do is we can use a my block to compress it into one block that we can place multiple places in the program. Now after you've saved it as a my block, it's going to appear here in a block much like this, and you can drag it out wherever in the program that you want it to go, and it will always execute this piece of code wherever this block is placed. And I'll show you how to do that right now. For those of you who are familiar with other programming languages such as C and Python, this is very similar to defining a function, where you write out everything, you define it as a function, and then you just call the function whenever you want it to perform the tasks that were defined within that function. But anyway, getting back to EV3 programming, the first thing that you're going to do is drag your cursor over the entire uh, programming selection and make sure everything that you want to be put into the my block is highlighted. Next what you're going to do is going to the top left corner, go to Tools, My Block Builder, and it will come up with this little menu. You can name your block whatever you wish, and you might uh, want to add a little description. You can add an icon if you wish that will help you remember which block is which. And you can also add or edit parameters, which you don't need to worry about right now. We're just covering the very basics. After you have at least a name, you can click Finish and the completed my block is now going to show up in here and you can drag it out into the program wherever you want it to go the next cool thing that you can do with my blocks is after you've created it in one project what you can do is take that my block and then export it out somewhere so i can save this block one two three four in here into a folder where i'll remember it and then in another project what i can do is click import find that file 1234 open it and now I've transferred this file from this project to another project where I can use it somewhere else and so that's also a very helpful tool thanks for watching my tutorial this week if you found it helpful be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week and if you have an idea for a tutorial be sure to submit it in the comments section below thank you and I'll see you next time bye